Elizabeth here, and this is my Platinum Jubilee. It's my party, and I'll do as I want. This is Zeri and Ed from Herman Hit the Road. <laughs> Hello, Liz. How are you doing? We are currently at Stratford Overland and International Campervan Show, and right now we're having a Jubilee party with a, a swarm of YouTube channels. <laughs> Or custard pie. Do you, do you think that I was the wrong thing to, to eat? <laughs> I fucking knew you were going to do that, you god guy. <laughs> no idea why he did that. <laughs> Look at everyone's face. Look at everyone's face. Shock. That's a chasing after. It's all drama here at uh, at Stratford at the Overland Show. <laughs> <laughs> you missed it though. Where, Custard, pies, everything. Right, it is the following day after the party and uh, Zoe and I have decided to have a little wander around the Overland section and uh, there's some really impressive and cool vehicles here. Let's take a look. Now, first of all, I noticed that there's quite a few converted lorries. Here we have a, what looks like a horse box and then right next door to it is just some sort of... Uh, cargo truck. Right next door to the schoolie buses which we saw last year is the, another uh, cargo truck, this time in orange, bright bright orange, and then another cargo truck. And this is probably the most stealthiest one I've seen. <laughs> it just looks like a cargo truck. Now I do like this. It's a huge motorhome, um, another lorry uh, with what looks like a three-wheeled motorbike in the back. Huge garage. Another cargo lorry, but right next door to possibly my favorite of all uh, Overland vehicle types. Uh, these Mercedes, I have no idea what they're called, but I do like them. I do like the shape, that stubby nose, and the high height of it. I do like all that. This made me laugh. This is a great place to uh, fit a vice on the front of your motorhome camper. Now I don't know what this is, I'm not au fait with this type of vehicle, but it looks very old and really cool. And it's right next door to this one, and this looks like it's been everywhere. Look how dirty that is, but it makes it look brilliant though. <laughs> dirty the better, I think. Get it all out. Oh my goodness. There's a whole section here on these Mercedes. I really do need to find out what they're called. Amazing, I love them. You can tell from this one that it's an old bus. Look, they've got the, that funny door that they have on buses. But I guess they're all kind of buses. So there's another one here, the red one. Buses or coaches. Very popular for these uh, Mercs. And if you go overland, you're gonna need a four x four, aren't you? Look at this beast. Is it so small inside that they need a tent on top? Maybe that's the uh, for the dog, or the kids, or the wife, or the husband. I don't know. This one is actually for sale. Looking around here, you can see this huge canopy. I think there's one on the other side as well. Uh, but on top, you can just see up there, there's a bench seat. You have a bit of a lookout when you're um, camped up. Amazing. Look how tall this truck is. Look at the side. I'm, I'm right up to here with the wheel. <sighs> Maybe not. <laughs> They're gorgeous though, aren't they? This one's called Daisy. And this section seems to be all military trucks. Fancy having a van with a balcony. That's just amazing. See outside wherever you want. We saw these two trucks last year. So that's Puddles and Tilda. All these trucks are very impressive and just over here I think that is a Land Rover 101. Now this is an impressive collection of military vehicles turned motorhome campers and this one is for sale. So get your purse out. It's only done 2,500 miles, mm. it's got a full MOT Yeah. And um, but the only problem is where are we going to store it? 
Mm, that is a problem. <laughs> it's rather big. Isn't and what it? would you do with Herman? Oh yeah, we won't. We worry. could. We this could worry. probably tow Herman. It says it's got a falcon box, which I guess is that, this thing here. Uh, but I wonder what that is. That looks like an aircon unit, doesn't it? Just stuck on the side. Probably does their refrigeration as well. And maybe even their heating. And look at these lovely vehicles. These are pins gowers. This one's actually for sale. Um, but they have six wheel drive. Amazing. Now I do love a VW, either a splitty or a bay window like this. But look how ridiculously low that is. <clears throat> it is a lawnmower with the appropriate signage, of course. Check out this beautiful car. Pulling that caravan just there. Saw it coming yesterday. Amazing, beautiful, lovely color as well. Mm -hmm. 